been tuned into the street session with your boy for us and Joe MK. Why is this the name of our show, bro? Because we're the hottest in the streets. Mm. Catch us online on the go and on the FM. Okay, let's go. This is right now. Listen. Obviously, we just got off the interview with Say Rex. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. Round of applause to him. <laughs> across the pond and that. But yeah, man. Yeah, you know, we got a lot of across the pond uh, interviews coming up. So, so yeah, yeah, so, yeah. It's like, been crazy. Second of many. Yeah. <laughs> Normally you say first of many. Yeah. Uh, this is our second one. Yeah. Uh, we had uh, Richie Evans. Yeah, yeah. We had Say Rex. Mm. Oh, with big features as well, you know, Rick Ross on one hand. I know. And um, now we've got, um, you know, Little Tucker. It's crazy. Uh, uh, listen, I'm gas, bro. Listen. Yeah, when they was dropping the names, I was like, yeah, what? Listen, when you're hot in the streets, uh, <laughs> it's so hard to be <laughs> humble right now. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. What? Uh, tell them again. Tell them again. When you're hot in the streets, yeah. it's so hard to be humble right now. Come on. <laughs> but anyway, let's talk about uh, Big Alvin before we yeah. let MK jump on the, yeah, yeah. the mix for today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Danda, certified lover boy. Yeah. Drake. Yeah. Kanye. Yeah. Um, you listen to um, Donda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your verdict on the album? It's a mo- I told you from from the first time I listened to it. Yeah, I couldn't even, bro. I couldn't even listen to it all the way because I had to stop. Let my mind take a break. I must have called like three of my friends. Obviously, shouts to K Triggs right there. He was, <laughs> he was the first one to answer, and I was like, "Yo, fam, have you listened to Donda?" He was like, "Nah, not yet." I was like, yeah. "Fam, it's flames, bro. Yeah, flames." Yeah, yeah. You know what? Um, yeah. I got to talk with Donda. Now, I did yeah. a running listening party. Yeah, 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 yeah. You did the uh, pre- you did the, the light preview last week and that. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. I like the album. You? Best album of 2020. Uh, oh, sorry, 2021. Okay, okay, okay. Almost forgot the year wasn't. Yeah. Best, best album of 2021. <laughs> no one can at me. Okay, yeah. Certified album came Say out. Say nothing. Didn't include Donda at all. So what? You're not. You're not even. You're not even waiting for uh, Travis Scott or Kendrick Lamar to drop heat, their things, yeah? I don't care about Kendrick. <laughs> Listen, he's been like, he ain't dropped like ten years. <laughs> this thing has to be hot. Trust me, trust me, trust um, me. He's been. He's Travis, been out too long. Yes, Travis probably have a good album, but at the end of the day, we're talking about Kanye. Yeah. Versus Drake. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I couldn't care but less. Travis, Travis is one of Kanye's students, though. You know what I'm saying? Yes, but <laughs> I. Uh... Well, Drake didn't do it for me. His album, <laughs> his album was alright. Listen, Drake's, t- <laughs> Drake's album yeah. reminds me of albums. That... Listen, it's mid. Yeah, you don't. You don't go after Kanye. Yeah. You don't. You don't have beef. Yeah. And then drop like. More than five bangers in the album. Mm. How can you have a 20 album song yeah. and only have five good songs? Mm. And if you listen to yeah. a lot of reviews, I don't know if you've talked on YouTube, yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone's disappointed. I've heard I've heard a lot of chatter about that still. I can't lie, man. Everyone's disappointed. Yeah. The album <laughs> is all right. Mid, mid, it's mid. It's not lit. Hella mid. It's not the hottest <laughs> in the street. <laughs> it's not for the culture. <laughs> He's culture vulturing but doing it wrong. Ah, uh, you know that song with Afrobeat artist Thames, ain't it? Ah, uh, um, I mean, you know what? I ain't even heard. I ain't even heard that song yet with Thames. You know that. Wings are right. That's that's how you know I didn't really like um, all, all CLB I'm, because I'd even get through like half of it. So all I'm all I'm gonna say is this to you guys. Yeah, listen yeah. to this. Yeah, <laughs> spark one for the man them because Drake is dead. <laughs> And you know what is? I hate to say this because I'm a Drake fan, and yeah, yeah. you know what? I'm not a Drake hater. Of course. You know what? I, yeah, there's yeah. artists that I do hate. There's artists that I don't rate. It's Everybody hard, it's hard to be a Drake hater, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm, fam. Drake is one of my favorite artists of yeah. all time. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Growing course. up, yeah. this is be facts. At the top, from my age group, yeah, 
Obviously, you, you got the Nelly, the Fifty Cent, the yeah, Michael Jackson, yeah, yeah, the Princes. Yeah, yeah. But more time, but that was primary school. Yeah, but let's yeah, talk yeah. fact. They were your parents' idols. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. were your parents who was bumping the strings. Facts. facts. When I'm bumping, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When I'm bumping music as an adult myself, mm. Drake, yep. Meek Mill, yeah. Nicki Minaj, yeah. uh, J. Cole. Yeah, that's yeah. my era. Yeah, yeah. That's when I'm old yeah, enough to pick facts. my own music without yeah, my, yeah. my my parents telling me. Yo, bump this tune. Yeah. Type of thing, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Drake, Drake's always been number one for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so to hear certain for a lover boy, yeah. it only um it only tells me what I've been saying for the past three, four years. Yep. Drake is declining as an artist. He's Ooh. dropped all of his best music. Yeah. And now for Drake, it's just maintaining his stardom. His buzz and that. Yeah, like yeah. Drake, let's just talk about Drake yep. Drake never needs a hit. He nah, will, nah, nah. He will nah, always nah. have a number one song. Yeah, for him to yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a top three song, yeah, or a top yeah, ten. Yeah. He will always have that. Yeah. But in terms of his material and what he's creating right uh-huh, now, uh-huh. I mean, Tootsie Slide just told us that he's dying. He made a TikTok <laughs> song. He, <laughs> he went out of his way yeah. to make a TikTok song. This is straight. TikTok song. He's with, not Soldier Boy. With dance tutorials as well. <laughs> He's not Soldier Boy. You know what I'm saying? Soldier yeah, yeah. Boy, mate. Ricky and Martin, and yeah. um, what's that other joint? Um, wait, is ah, oh, it's escaped in my head just now. Swag, swag, uh, uh. whatever. He made a song, two songs. It's gone out of my head, man. Uh, Soldier Boy has two songs. That's TikToks. Yeah. yeah. That's a Soldier Boy thing. He needs to revive. What was his it clap, clap something? Yeah, clap, clap. Yeah. Yeah. Soldier yeah. Boy has two songs. He made Ricky and Martin yeah. and, and and clap. Mm. Drake doesn't need to be doing that. It's Drake! Nah, you. <laughs> when I heard Tootie Slide, I'm there like. Uh, Tootie nah. Slide? Yeah. <laughs> when you become so corny. Um, Demo Dark Tapes! <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, I watched um, Academic's um, Song for Song. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Donda versus uh, Set for Love Boy. I still haven't watched that stream. If you didn't check let that, me it's, know. It's, yeah, about let me hour, know. it's about an hour long. One of the best. <laughs> Song for song, you're here. It's basically a yeah. versus on uh-huh. Twitch. Oh, okay, yeah. Obviously, yeah. Academic is playing from one to well, basically every song one on one on one. Jeez! And then everybody got to vote. Yeah. Drake won like three times. Ah. Oh, out of order. Yeah, Drake wasn't really winning. Uh, yeah. And you know, for somebody like Drake, back in the day, he was yeah. winning every track. Every track. Listen, every track. Drake. What? And you know, this this is not disrespect to Drake. Of course, no. Drake's dropped a lot of music. A lot. A he's lot, not lot, doing yeah. a Kendrick or J. Cole. Yeah. Because yeah, them yeah. there drop every two, three years. Yeah, well, Kendrick still... hasn't dropped in like 10 years. But mm-hmm. in terms of the J. Coles, the Taylor Swifts, yeah, yeah. in terms of pop artists, <laughs> yeah. they drop every two, three years. Drake drops at least every year. He ever drops every He drops every few months, either if it's on a feature or his own song. No, but my point is, yeah. in terms of his music, yeah, yeah. not features, that's not oh, his okay. music. Oh, you mean project wise? He's up, he drops a mixtape and true, he true, always true, drops yeah. an album. Project wise, yeah. So. We can't. We don't go two years without Drake. <laughs> exactly. Whereas with J Cole, we can yeah. go two years, then he drops his album. Yeah, yeah. Kendrick, okay, yeah. cool. If it was five, six years ago, we can say yeah. every two years. But for some reason, <laughs> he has to drop for a long time. Five years, yeah. I was just shout out to Kendrick. Came out and said, you know, I like. Jeez, issues, man, smoke, is what smoking in your top five? Is he smoking in your top five? Huh? Is Kendrick smoking on your top five? Uh, Kendrick used to be my top five. <laughs> Obviously, but recently he was on yeah, Baby Keem's song saying he's smoking on your top five. Yeah, but so. if, if you're in 2015, mate, <laughs> you can't be in my top five. <laughs> Martin had a since 2015. You can't that's be my true, top that's five. That's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. It's impossible. How can you yeah. say that I brought it in the top five now? Yeah. From 2015. <laughs> I mean, all I've heard is a a, a movie album that's featured with like beyond with the whole country. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that was like what 2017. Yeah, yeah. And then like one future. <laughs> Come on, man. You can't be top five anymore, bro. <laughs> my, my guy is still sweating for the top 20. <laughs> he's fighting for the Premier League, please. He's, he's in a relegation zone. He's moving like Arsenal and that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Man. He's got to make a couple of signings for a couple of them drinks. <laughs> I mean, he, might, he might need a Drake uh, stimulus package. <laughs> he might need a future stimulus package. Maybe a quick he, he might need a round as well. <laughs> yeah, man. Kendrick, Kendrick is not one of my favorite artists. Like, he is, no. He, I can't he, like, yeah. These aren't art. We're not talking about artists that are dead. We're dead, talking about no, artists yeah. that we really respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, this ain't Wiley getting arrested for burgling someone's house. Listen, we're talking uh, about. Yeah, shout, yeah, shout out to him as well. <laughs> oh, hell no. 
I still don't oh, know what the hell he did. I don't know. I don't know what he's on. Oh hell no! Oh hell no! This guy said, "Shut up, man, man, who's burgling houses when he's supposed to be rich." He's oh, on fire. Hell no. Oh hell no! Oh hell no! Are you still going with a shutter? Imagine, imagine. Are you he... still going with a shutter? Huh? Are you still going with that shutter? No, but you know I like trolling, oh, hell innit? No. Like, <laughs> my no, shots, my shots are never real. But anyways, like uh, imagine, imagine him rolling up in his McLaren, yeah, <laughs> to the front yard, <laughs> and then oh, what, what, once he gets away, yeah, he has to rev that massive engine. Like, what, what's going on, fam? <laughs> Alison, what is going on, Wiley, fam? What's going, what's going on, Wiley? Obviously, before we go back to Danda and yeah. uh, Sir Love, let's talk about it. Let's go into that. Yeah, brother. Like, no, let, let me do, a, let me do a quick PSA though. Like, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, you're, you're, you're a grime MC, you're a grime legend and that, innit? Obviously, we're Godfather, on. Godfather, don't forget. Godfather, Godfather. yeah, yeah. You're, obviously, we we trees likes to remind me, Godfather. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, we're on Pirate Radio right now, innit? Obviously, you grew up doing Pirate Radio sets and that. Obviously, we're, we're, ch- we're chatting to you on a real thing right now. Yeah. As, as, as Pirate Radio DJs and that. Brother, what's going on, fam? <laughs> why why is, is everything on the news about you being like some madness thing? Like, I, I don't know what's going on, fam. So I are, you know. So I are. Yeah. <laughs> wiley, 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 wiley. We gotta start talking about the reason why you blocked me, right? I'm gonna give you an outline live on radio right now. So obviously, <laughs> if you don't know about Wiley, Godfather of Grime, that brother right there. You know them there. The one that lost to Stormzy. The one that couldn't defeat Stormzy. <laughs> the new guy in the that block. Done. <laughs> That brother. <laughs> Listen, I pulled up on Instagram. No, so I had a I had a YouTube channel called Chat and Show. Yeah. I, I used to. I still have the YouTube channel called Chat and Show. Yeah, yeah. And I came out and basically said that you know n- nobody cares about the grime scene, yeah. or should I say most recently at the time, nobody really cared about Wiley. Yeah, yeah. Wiley, then I don't think I've shown you these. Uh, mm, I got what? a screenshot store. Um, <laughs> he messaged back. I actually messaged back. Yeah. Jeez. He, um, <laughs> He was very annoyed by my comments and yeah. basically said I have no credibility to give my opinions. Oof. Which is fair enough, you know, at the yeah, time, chatting yeah, shit wasn't yeah. the hardest in the streets, but um, I am just the hardest in the streets. Just trying, to, just trying to ting on the YouTube thing, you get me? Ain't nothing too major. I understand, listen. <laughs> oh, I'm, the, I'm the thousand subscribers. Yeah. Mm, it was over 500, don't you say? Jeez! Um, that video got like 20,000 views, I'm just saying. Yeah. Um, but he wasn't feeling the vibes, right? So yeah. he got the video taken down and, 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 yeah. and he blocked me. Anyway, anyway long story short. Yeah. I've always said since 2017 that yeah. Wiley is on a, a downward spiral, right? Now, a lot of people would never agree. Now Until it's too late. Yes. But uh, you got to look at it like this is what. Like, I yeah. wasn't discrediting his... Uh, music ability and what he's that, yeah. done for the scene mm-hmm. ability is what yeah, yeah. I never said he wasn't lit yeah I said he's not lit now uh-huh. and my problem is and it's the same thing I say for a lot of UK um, legends yeah yeah build something ah uh, yeah Skepta is the only one that I can look at that's built something built something yeah Skepta is not relevant mm. but would you know he's not relevant no because no. he's everywhere Fam, you see him on a billboard doing Havana Club you, you, you uh, Dark Rum, fam. You get me? You get what I'm saying? <laughs> He's got a whole bowl. Yeah, man. Like, Magazines every week. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Adele. Ah, uh, mm-hmm. 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 Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> but my point is, yeah. Skepta stayed in the limelight. Yeah, yeah. But built something around yeah, his yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, Jay Z. To be fair, he wasn't he wasn't saying some stupid stuff in the meantime as well. So no, but that's why I'm he, saying yeah, yeah. I'm saying before before <laughs> Wiley went out and started being racist towards the Jewish. And that, yeah, he no, was he's, he's, been, he's been saying dumb stuff from before too. Man. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> I'm saying Wiley mm. was kind of dying. Yeah, and yeah. me personally, yeah, yeah. I don't know how you feel about it. Yeah. I feel like he was making public statements to yeah. build up his name. Yeah, yeah, social media. Uh huh. Talking about the Jewish people. Yeah. Listen, he yeah. was he was back on Sky News. <laughs> he was on ITV News. Remember, he had interviews with these brothers. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like he just said it and no one cared. Yeah. yeah. He was on Sky, BBC, Interview Channel Four. Him heavy. He was popping. pressing him. I mean, he probably didn't expect to be cancelled from 
Instagram, yeah, YouTube, yeah, yeah, Spotify. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <yeah. laughs> and you know what? They didn't even do the six nine thing. Yeah. They cut him off. They, they deleted cut this guy off, out. Um, cut His him account off. got deleted. But why? Yep. Jewish one or one? Mm. He's an idiot. Mm. No offense to you, Wiley. Oh. You're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> you cancelled yourself by going after the biggest yeah. organization yeah. worldwide that runs everything. And he he will he's he will still sign when he did that as well, innit? Yes. So that, that was that was an idiot. Obviously, he's dropped now. He's an idiot thing, fam. Listen, like you have to, he, like you have look. Listen, history repeats itself all the time, yeah. Yes. Whoever has spoken out has always gotten out of their deal before they spoke out. Yes. For whatever reason, Wiley thought, ah, let me just speak out now, and then what happened? Yeah. He got the he got the repercussions of. Uh, trying to speak out whilst he's still under contract and whatever like listen you have to be yeah. smarter than that fam even though yeah. i'm more for free speech whatever side you're on listen you have to know <laughs> you have to know what boundaries you're in at whatever time yeah you know what i'm saying um, like, so shouts to you fam <laughs> i, I want to ask you a, qu- a question yeah. right yeah yeah art is that are you know essentially becoming irrelevant yeah um, see, it's gonna hurt me to say this, but Avelino. But I ain't heard his name in years. Avelino, big artist back in the day. Obviously, I've, I've no. heard him on a f- couple of features recently, yeah, but yeah, still, yeah, but yeah, don't still, you yeah, 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 well. yeah, yeah. <laughs> No offense, Avelino, I love you, but don't treat with garbage. Anyways, yeah. Notes. I mean, notes and Avelino. It's funny how the two artists that is <laughs> are on the same track. <laughs> that is actually kind of funny. Is it? Uh, notes. Yeah. He's been kind of dying. Yeah. Listen, Jay Huss, he came out of jail. Jay, and I yeah. expected, I expected mm, a big comeback. That's a, uh, I, like I saw a song yesterday on YouTube that I didn't even know existed. That came out recently. 20,000 views. <laughs> when did that come out? When did that come out? <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> How many views? 20,000. Oh, hell no. <laughs> what did I say? 20,000. Oh, hell no. <laughs> you're, talking about, you're talking about Mr. It was like three weeks old. You're talking about Mr. Big Conspiracy. Bro. Mr. Came in a na, 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 left in a white one, Mister. Ah, oh, I'm talking. Lean, 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 lean. Ah, man, what's I'm going on? I'm not saying Jay Huss is that. <laughs> it's sad. Yeah. Listen, but I'm, I'm a realist. I'm not one of them kind of guys who's not gonna be, be like. It'd like, be, like, be like sometimes though. <laughs> I hope I don't get more hates, but listen, listen. I'm trying to get invited to all the festivals, so. Uh, Listen. If I catch you at a festival, don't watch that, man. I'll be running so far away, <laughs> like Youngin, with my Nandos. I'll probably drop on the phone for you as well so you can pick it up. It's cool. Um, I want no beef. But if there's beef, I'm dropping my bag too. You can have all the batteries. It's lit. Um, just in case you don't want to have beef with me for talking the way I'm talking. <laughs> I'm late, man. No, nah. I want no smoke. But oh, if there man. is smoke, uh, you can have a bag. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'll even make sure there's some weed for you guys. Anyways, uh, <laughs> when it comes to artists, because yeah. in the UK, right? Yeah. yeah if yeah. you die out, m- money dries up. Small market. That's what happens. Yeah. yeah man. What would be you? What? What? Okay. Obviously, we're not like big time artists, right? Oh, so we far can't, from it, man. But what would be? We're getting it though. What? What would you say that an artist should do when they make as a businessman? When they we're become both, big yeah, time. We're both entrepreneurs. Yeah, yeah, of course. If you make yeah. 100, 200k, mm-hmm. a million. Yeah. In the UK, yeah. we can all agree your careers aren't as long as it stays. Of course, of course, of course, yeah. Aren't even as long as man them in Spain. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> what would be your career advice for people that come across a lot of money? Would it be property? Would it be, you know, make a clone brand? Like, what would be your advice? Obviously, property is bulletproof. Obviously, oh, okay. This ain't financial advice. Don't don't take my thing. Um, yeah, yeah, but I'm but just asking. Property, obviously, property is the most tried and true thing to uh, put your money into. But in terms, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick it to obviously because you can find all that advice about different assets and that on the online and whatever. Yeah. I'm gonna talk about the music thing. So what should you invest yeah. in in the music thing? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. You have you have a couple of artists that we know personally that have been on the higher stage but not really have that longevity but yeah, 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 what yeah. do they do they went straight into hiring out warehouse spaces to do maybe yes. film studios or yeah, yeah, yeah. music studios yeah. 
whether they went into engineering or just letting other engineers run their sessions. So would you say then, because they've had that, uh, yeah. maybe a top 10 single mm -hmm. or, you know, had that very good single, yeah. it's almost like football. Yeah. If you had that one very good season, yeah. should you then go into like coaching with your music or, you know, a and R with the music. She try uh, and find an avenue branching out. Music. Yeah, 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 branching like, out. Literally, it's just branching out. If you yeah. know how to make a hit, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean because you made a hit once yeah, yeah. that you're a terrible artist. Yeah, yeah. It just means that people really resonate with that one, one song. One song, and they'll and always compare you to that one song. One song, yeah. And but there are labels, yeah. companies out there that would pay you for information. Exactly. Pay you for yeah. your skill set. Exactly, yeah. If you can mix, yeah. if you can engineer, yeah. or even if you can just write but your voice ain't hitting, True. why aren't Very you true. doing that? That's you the thing. That's, it's that ego thing, you think? I think, no, it, it really is an ego thing because it's like I have, I have uh, known of like songwriters before where they didn't really want to go into songwriting at first, but yes. because... They went to a label, they presented their thing, yes. and they said, Oh, you know what? You'll be great to write for so and so. Yeah. Um But then they they later find out, ah, oh, they didn't choose me to be the forefront because of my image or whatever the case yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. later on, even though they might have success as a songwriter at first, you'll you'll see them on a billboard randomly. And you'll be like, oh, who's this? And then you find out, oh, they've yeah. been songwriting for this, this, and this yeah. for like these amount of years. Yeah. And then you later find out, oh, it's because once again, the label for ah, oh, it'll be a better image if you sent that song to yeah. this artist with this image and then so on and so forth. So it's like, Do you know, what? now that you said, I want to make a huge shout to SSK. Yeah. You know what? That's such a good segue. You know? That's such a good segue. Yeah. Uh, because he's a producer. Yeah. And a musician, in and an engineer, a lot of placements in the industry. Yeah, and we spoke to him, mm. and I did ask him about it. Mm -hmm. If you have a beat, yeah, yeah, and it's the hottest beat, yeah, yeah, would you give it to an artist? Yeah, or keep it for yourself. Uh, and the one thing he said, which yeah, I found crazy. Yeah, yeah. if it sounds right for them, you why just, would I keep just, it? Yeah, just send it to them. Why yeah. would I keep it? Now mm. that shows that he's yeah. more than just for himself uh-huh yeah he, yep, yep. he's really about yep. the music yeah he's yeah. about who he's working for yeah yeah and um you know you you gotta appreciate that when when it comes to music yep um obviously i want to let mk get into you know his bag and funny enough as we do on a street session what well, normally it's footy talk i make announcements that people don't know about so there's actually an announcement that mk doesn't know about which I'm making up live right now. And uh, just like a Footy Talk show, I made an announcement earlier for me and Jamin, uh, which was a really cool uh, announcement because we have a show slot at Box Park on Footy Talk. <laughs> shout, shout out to all them emails I've been sending. However, for the man that I don't know, yeah. And Joe doesn't know the reason I was uh, if you uh, if you tuned in earlier would have heard I was playing a lot of pop okay. tunes. I'm, the I'm reason listening. I'm listening. A lot of pop tunes is because yeah. I haven't told him yet. Yeah. I've kind of spoken about him. Yeah. I'm not told that there was any <laughs> ideas around it. <laughs> There's always a reason why I was playing pop. Okay. Go on. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Or oh, tell me too. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm getting there. You don't. Know. <laughs> now, Ruby Blue. Yeah. Um. Bar by day, nightclub by night, has given us permission to DJ at the afternoon times from 12 to 10 p.m. <laughs> Street sessions, comes at Leicester Square, Ruby Blue. Come on. Uh, starting from October. Okay. We will be able to DJ yes, at sir. chosen days between. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, or Saturdays. Okay. So, Tuesday ain't gonna happen. Just gonna tell you that. Oh, because yeah, we <laughs> we here we here giving you the the, the tea and that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> but Saturdays and Wednesdays is probably gonna be a day that we choose from. Yeah. Um, just want to let MK know live because okay. I thought that'd be funny. 
Gasmore. I could have told you this like four days ago. Well, yeah, I like. I, I waited until I got here. This guy um, loves his surprises, man. So shout out to NK. <laughs> shout out to the street sessions. You know what I'm saying? We are going to be in Leicester Square Street Come real on. soon from October. So I want you lot all to know to pull up down there if you want to. Listen, we're going to be there from the hours of 12 p.m. to 10 p.m. Um, we just got to pick a time slot. So we'll let you know that when that comes through. Leicester Square, where, where, where we first met. Pause. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> It all comes full circle. But, but you know what? That's why it's iconic. It's uh, iconic. It's so random that the <laughs> first place that hit me back yeah. was Rue Blue. Yeah. In the <laughs> and where did we meet? Across the road from Rue Blue. Yeah. You know Rue Blue, right? Yeah, yeah. It's literally that joke. Yeah, yeah, the one round the corner from yeah. um the, that casino, innit? Yeah, the side yeah, entrance. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, come on, man. I know that one, man. So it's, it's so <laughs> iconic that we ended we end up with that. Iconic, That's our first man. booking. Iconic, um, iconic, iconic, bro. I'll say, uh, you know, <laughs> I, 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 can't, I can't tell you about the finances, but it's lit. Ooh-wee! Uh, <laughs> if you can do 10, <laughs> uh, the finances is lit still. But anyway, listen, I'm going to let MK jump for the tick because we'll be talking for too much. Uh... If you're wondering who we are. Whoa, 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 90.4 FM. Whoa, whoa. Uh, listen, we're going to drop in at the advert. Again, yeah, yeah. two minutes. It's going to be MK's going to shut it down for the next 25 minutes. Whoa, yo. This has been a sweet show for your way for us. Joe MK. You know why we're MK, man. Mm-hmm. No. I yeah, said you know why we're MK. Wow. <laughs> Online, up the go. Yeah. Oh. Be tuned into the street session with your boy for us and Joe MK. Why is this the name of our show, bro? Because we're the hottest in the streets. Mm. Catch us online on the go and on the FM. Okay, let's go.